chapter review this chapter explains the limitations of the cpi and describe other measures of the price level the cpi has four sources of bias that leads to an inaccurate measure of the cost of living those biases are the new goods bias that is new goods replace old goods the quality change bias goods and services increasing quality the commodity substitution bias that is changes in relative prices lead consumers to change the items they buy and the outlet substitution bias consumers switch to shopping more often in discount, discount stores the overall cpi bias has been estimated to overstate inflation by 1.1 percentage point say per year the cpi bias distorts private contracts increases garment outlays and decreases garment tax revenues the gdp price index is an average of current prices of all the goods and services included in gdp expressed as a percentage of base year prices the gdp price index uses the prices of all goods and services in gdp and weights each item using information about current quantities the pce personal consumption expenditure price index is an average of the current prices of goods and services included in the consumption expenditure component of gdp expressed as a percentage of base year prices the core information inflation rate is a percentage change in the pce index excluding the price of food and energy the cpi inflation rate generally exceeds the pce inflation rate practice problem when households buy broccoli they discard some of it because it is bruised so 20% is discarded now suppose that the new genetically engineered broccoli is developed that does not bruise so that all the broccoli that is purchased can be used people prefer the new broccoli so they switch to buying the new broccoli if the price of the new broccoli is 10% higher than the old what actually happens to the cpi and what should happen to the cpi with the introduction of the new broccoli the cpi rises because the new broccoli's prices is higher 10% than the old broccoli but the cpi should actually decrease because people pay only 10% more for 20% more usable broccoli this problem illustrates how the quality change bias can bias the cpi upwards second when the price of textbooks is dollar 105 a book anthony buys his books at the bookstore closest to him when textbooks rise in prices to 145 dollars a book that at that store anthony drives several miles away to a store where the books are sold for only dollar 125 How does Anthony's decision affect the CPI? Anthony's decision reflects outlet substitution. When the price of a good rises, consumers choose Anthony switch the stores from which they buy goods and services to less expensive outlets. But the CPI as constructed does not take into account this point. The CPI will record that the price of textbooks rose by dollar 40 from dollar 105 to 145. the outlet substitution bias means that the cpi overstates the true rise in the cost of living third once you graduate you move to a new town and sign a long term lease on a town house you agree to pay dollar 1000 a month rent and to change the monthly rent annually by the percentage change in the cpi for the next 4 years the cpi increases 5% each year what will you pay in monthly rent for the second third and fourth year of your lease suppose the cpi overstates the inflation rate by 1 percentage point a year if the cpi bias was eliminated what would you pay in rent for the second third and fourth years the monthly rent increases by 5 percent a each year for the second year the monthly rent equals 1000 times 1 1.05 which is 1050 for the third year the monthly rent equals 1050 times 1.05 which is 1102.50 for the fourth year the monthly rent equals dollar 1102.50 times 1.05 which is dollar 1157.63 if the cpi bias was eliminated the monthly rent would increase by 4% each year the monthly rent would be dollar 1 Thousand forty for the second year, thousand eighty one sixty for the third year, and thousand one hundred twenty four point eight six for the third year. 
true or false multiple choice 